Humans like stories. Humans like to see other faces, to read them. It seems so much more manageable than abstractions like keeling curves, emissions trajectories, economics. The denialists have latched on to this human trait and have been trying to personalise climate change. They'll bang on about individual scientists, Michael Mann, Phil Jones, Tim Flannery, James Hansen, or about specific politicians, Al Gore, Julia Gillard, etc., as if these individuals have somehow personally invented climate change. There are short-term and long-term benefits to the deniers in this. In the short term, the debate then becomes about the personal integrity of the individual scientist or politician, and less time and appetite and bandwidth is available for discussion about what we as societies should be doing now to reduce our environmental footprints and increase our resilience. In the longer term, the death threats and smears and phony investigations have, the denialists hope, a chilling effect in making people think twice about becoming a scientist or speaking out as scientists. A fairly recent trivial example. Australian entrepreneur Dick Smith declined to sign a recent pro-carbon tax letter because he didn't want to be monstered by the Murdoch press. I prefer sarcasm. Yes, you're right. Tim Flannery personally invented climate change to secure a few speaking gigs on the ABC. He built a time machine and went and hypnotised 19th century scientists like Fourier and Tyndall into believing that carbon dioxide traps heat. He then travelled through the last 150 years systematically sabotaging every single experiment and measurement that could have shown there's been no increase in atmospheric carbon dioxide levels because of the burning of fossil fuels. And he'd have gotten away with it too if it hadn't been for you, you hard-working, sane and rational sceptic. Well done. You've uncovered a massive, multi-generational fraud. Go to Stockholm. There's a Nobel Prize waiting for you. Or you can say, thousands of scientists agree, consensus, areskis, blah, blah. I know which is more fun, and frankly, the denialists ain't going to be listening to you either way. Scepticism is how science advances-ish. The whole paradigms and falsifiability and epistemic regimes thing is another video. Denialism is about sticking your fingers in your ears and shouting la 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 very loudly. It doesn't help anything to allow denialists to pretend to anyone, including themselves, that they are sceptics.